Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to implement the iBeacon technology from Apple into the ESP32 device. Let's get started with the getting started guide with iBeacon from Apple. And we can see that the advertising package have to send in 16 bytes or 128 bit universal unique identifier or UUID and two bytes a major and two bytes a minor ID. And there's article about how to advertise package with iBeacons in from ARM and embed. And you can have a look at this article if you want to know more about how the iBeacon advertising package is defined. So let's have a look at the generic access profile or gap. We only send two advertising types. First, the flex with the ID number one and second, the ID hexadecimal FF. That's the manufacturer specific data defined by Apple. So we can find it here. We first send our flex and then we send the advertising header, then the company ID, then the beacon type and the beacon length. And then we send the 16 bytes UUID, major, minor, and also the TX power one byte. And we can have a look at the source code in Eclipse. So if you want to know how to implement your source code in Eclipse, just watch my video number four. So we have a look at the advertising data that's defined in this function. This is our first advertising type. And then this is our second advertising type. We send the length, the type, then the company ID. It's just a fake company ID from Apple. Then we send them manufacturer specific data. First the beacon type, then the length of the beacon data and the 128 bit UUID and then the major and the minor ID. Then also the beacon TX power at one meter. So let's clean our source codes, make clean. Then we do a make all. And also in the meantime, I put my ESP32 in download mode. So let's check this with PuTTY while we're compiling. So let's do a reset and waiting for download. Then I close PuTTY to don't disturb the flash mode. And we are finished and then we make flash. So let's see that the flash data is written to our device. Now we are finished. So let's open PuTTY again. I resize the window and do a reset. So first stage, we start the advertising data, do a reset, command number one, command number two, start the advertising data available. Then we set the advertising data and we send out the advertising data to our mobile device or even to our PC. And now another thing I discovered that the advertising stops after maybe 30 seconds. So after the command, counter is to eight, I do a reset again. And then the advertising data is set again and also sent out again. So the advertising should never stop. Let's have a look at the bench and I open my mobile app NRF Connect from Nordic Semiconductor and scan all the Bluetooth device. The beacon is the ESP32 and my NRF51822 is a Bluetooth service. So we see in the ESP32 it's the Apple data and the UUID and the major and the minor ID and we can have a look at the raw data. It's just the same, just like we sent. And let's have a look at the the signal strengths in the history and also the flex. And we can change the displaying of the data with a just like a T beacon data or the raw data. So you can download the example code from GitHub. I put a link in the description and I hope you enjoy the video and you learn something. So thanks for watching today and bye bye.